All right, here's some quick tips on hydraulic, actually non-hydraulic brakes. Uh, these are cable. You can tell because we have this cable coming out here. We still have the caliper itself, this whole module. Then we have the rotor, also called the disc. Um, what's cool about these cable actuated disc brakes is we have adjustability. We have a barrel adjuster here. By loosening, you actually can tighten. So as the brake pads start to wear, like running the eraser out on your pencil, uh, you can unscrew this or loosen this and it will pull pressure bringing the pads closer, making that lever feel good again. You want that lever to come in about at least halfway of that travel. If it's getting too close to the handlebar, um, something's wrong. You need to tighten up brakes. This could be for hydraulic or non-hydraulic, any bike, road bike, even an e-bike. Um, the other cool thing on these, uh, some of these have adjustability right here where you can do a click, click, not on this particular model or brand. You flip over to the other side, you have adjustability here. We have Typically, it's going to be a 5 mil for, for certain um, or a 25 uh, torque style, but these are on a click system. So one click at a time and then go and test your brake. Spin the wheel. That's going to give you a lot of information. So right there, we have a slight rub. Um, with the hydraulic or even disc brakes, um, I will go with a slight rub. As you can see, it still spins really nice but we're getting just a little bit of a noise. So I'm not worried about that. Um, this isn't going to affect, uh, it's not gonna heat up, it's not gonna slow you down, but I'd rather have a slight rub because it's gonna give me a good lever feel. If I back this off a bit, I'm gonna leave my, my good lever feel um, and it's gonna come in too close to the bar. So I'm gonna compromise that and that's gonna rub, that's gonna wear over time and that rub will go away. When you're riding this, you're not gonna hear it. And like I said, look how well it's spinning all by itself. So those are your tips. Um, actually, one more. We got another barrel adjuster right up here at the lever. And you're going to find this very common on any cable actuated brake, whether it's disc or non-disc. But again, we have a barrel adjuster adjusting uh, lock nut. So you're going to unscrew this. If you can't move this, unloosen this one first. Then this is your adjusting. Once you get through your proper pressure, go ahead and tighten this guy back up. Finger tight. No need to put tools. That's the cool thing about these barrel adjusters. No tools necessary. You're not going to mess anything up too bad. Hopefully you just make a good adjustment. Um, once you find your proper adjustment here, tighten this one back up with fingers. That way it doesn't move or vibrate loose on you. So carry on.